Hey everyone, Unexceptional Rounder here, and today I've got a video for you about probability, payouts, and odds, one of the most fundamental concepts in poker. This video will lay the foundation for much more advanced topics in the future. With that said, let's get started. Probability. Everyone's heard the weatherman say that there's going to be a 70% chance of rain, or rain is likely, unlikely, chance of fair skies, chance of clouds. Everything has a chance, nothing's for certain. That's where probability comes into play. In the weather, it happens all the time, and in poker, we use probability to determine winning situations and losing situations. Let's look at some different ways that you can express probability and what it really means. Probability, simply put, is the chance that a given event will occur. If we look at this weather chart, we see that there are different probabilities expressed as percentages for various wind speeds, affecting various parts of the country. This is probability expressed as a percentage. There are a lot of other ways to express probability. Let's talk about a few of them. Probability can be expressed as odds. These odds would read 3 to 1, 5 to 4, 25 to 75. As we discussed previously, can be expressed as a percentage, 25%, 50%, 75%, etc. Fractions, which may look similar to odds, would be said 1 out of 4, 5 out of 9, 25 out of 100, or 5 ninths. Notice that 25 out of 100 means that the event will occur 25 times out of a total possible 100 opportunities. Whereas when we speak of odds, 25 to 75 would be the equivalent, meaning it will happen 25 times and it won't happen 75 times. The last way of expressing probability that I'll talk about today is with words. Impossible, even chance, unlikely, likely. They're all ways of expressing probability, but they're not exact and they're not numbers. So we're gonna leave them out of poker for the most part, but feel free to keep using it in everyday conversation. So now we understand probability better. We know that it is the chance an event will occur and it can be expressed using words, odds, percentages, or fractions. Now, let's go ahead and talk about another concept. Payouts. There are a lot of different forms of payouts. You may have seen payouts on the top of blackjack tables or other casino games. There's payouts in poker, there's payouts in poker tournaments, there's payouts in cash games. All a payout really is, is how much you win compared to the amount that you bet. So the payout is how much you get for each bet. And again, just like probability, payouts can be expressed in a few different ways as well. Let's talk about some of them. First, we'll go over the simple definition of a payout, which is the expected financial return of an investment. Pretty much what we were talking about before, although blackjack isn't much of an investment. The next one we'll discuss is odds. Notice that we were also able to express probability using odds. Interesting. So odds would be expressed as three to one, four to three, one to five. Now when we talk about odds and payouts, it's a little different than odds and probabilities. Here, we're looking at the amount we win compared to the amount we bet. So you'll see that I've got win to bet here. So the catchy little saying I came up with was, the amount you get to the amount you bet. Awesome, because it rhymes, right? So now, take a look at this scorecard for a horse race, which I know very little about, but I do know a little bit about odds. So looking at this uh, card or payout or whatever it is, we can see that there's different payouts for different bets. The harder the thing is to predict, the more you win. Predicting the top three gets you a huge payoff of 477 0.8 to two dollars it looks like so that's pretty uh pretty good odds but that has nothing to do with the probability that you'll actually pick those three numbers right so that's where you compare the odds to the probability and you look for a mismatch you look for somebody offering you better payout odds than you have probability odds when you get a mismatch, that's where you make money. That's how bookies make money. That's how casinos make money. You have to understand this concept to make money playing poker. If you were talking about the stock market, then your payout would probably be expressed as a percentage. You don't hear many people talk about 
the stock market in the form of odds or fractions, you usually hear their gains as percentages as well as the losses. So what this shows is that depending on what you're talking about, there are more appropriate ways to express payouts and probabilities based on what you're doing. The last one I'll mention really quickly is words again. Just like probability, you can express odds as words, you know, big, medium, small, you know, you want a 10 bagger, which actually relates to a number, which means that your stock went up 10 times your original investment or 1000%. But again, just like with probability, we're not really interested in using words in poker like this. We're gonna use actual numbers. So that covers payouts. As you can see, payouts and probabilities can be expressed in various ways. In poker, payouts are best described only as odds. So payout, think pot odds, because that's really your payout in a poker game is what's in the pot. And again, remember that catchy saying, the amount you get to the amount you bet. Now I wanna to try to explain why it makes sense to use odds for everything. I mean, it kind of makes sense intuitively because you don't want to be mixing percentages, odds, fractions when you're trying to do math in your head at the table. So what we want to do is get on the same page with our payout and our probability in the form of odds. When we talk payout odds, we'll express it as the win amount to the bet amount, as in the amount in the pot to the amount that you have to call or the amount you're betting, depending on what we're talking about. If we talk probability odds, it'll be expressed as will not win to will win. As in, the number on the left is gonna be the times you don't win and the number on the right will be the times you do win. This'll be explained uh, or make sense a little bit more in the future, but for now, we're just going to go with it. These are called odds against. You wanna match up your odds against to the payout odds. This example should help you understand it a little bit better. Using odds for both probability and payout is a good thing, and this example should show you why it's so much easier. Coin toss. What's the probability of a coin landing on heads? I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm going to. The answer is not 50% because we don't talk about percentages when we talk about odds. So what is the probability of a coin landing on heads? Got your answer? All right, if you said the odds of landing on heads are one to one, then you're correct. Now, if we look at one to one, the first one is the times that it won't happen or the times that it comes up tails. And the second one is the times that it comes up heads. So the will nots to the wills are one to one. Now taking this problem one step further, we can ask what odds are needed for a profitable bet, as in what pot size do you need to make money on a $1 bet? Since there are no half pennies, we'll round to the nearest one cent. For a $1 bet, getting one to one odds, to make money, you need the pot to be at least a dollar and one cent, a dollar and a penny. Anything less than that, and you're not going to make any money. To take this one step further, which I didn't really plan on getting to in this video, but it's important. The higher the pot size, the more money you make, as in the bigger edge you have on that bet. If there's a dollar and 10 cents in the pot, you now have a 10% edge because you're actually making 10% more than the break even amount. A little bit more than we need to go in this video, but it's worth mentioning. And I hope that this example really clears up why it's so much easier to use odds when talking about probability and payouts, everything lines up nicely and you can quickly determine if the situation you're in is profitable or not based on your probability, based on your payout, and then make the correct play. I hope that example helps you understand probability and payouts better. It shows you why we use odds to compare them at the table for easy in your head calculations when you don't have a lot of time. So what's next? We're not done yet, we've got a lot left to learn. We know probability and payouts. We still have yet to learn about hand combinations, calculating draws, calculating equity, and of course, expected value, which is 
essentially what you can use to determine the correct play in any poker situation. So stay tuned. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Also, make sure you hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. And if you wanna check out these videos as they come up, keep an eye on my feed. All these videos are gonna be annotations as soon as they come out. For Rounder University, this is Unexceptional Rounder, and until next time, you guys keep on grinding.